Hey out there, Slot Car Land. How's everybody doing this fine Saturday? Hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody that's down at the Ohio Cup are having a good time. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're not, you know, hope you're having some good racing and stuff. Uh, go check out uh, the Ohio group on Facebook and you can get some action there and uh, all of that. So I hope they're all doing good. I wish we could be there. Well, that's one of the races I want to get to someday. Um, today was supposed to be a bi-weekly featured car, and it's Elijah's turn, but he's not here. He's up in Wenatchee today for a the um, Apple Blossom Festival. They have a parade and all everything, so the band's up there doing that. So uh, we went a little yard sailing today, and I scored something really cool. I've been trying to date it, but it's really hard. I can't find this thing listed in any of the catalogs from Tomei at all but by looking at the cars it is a first generation set set got this for five bucks at a yard sale oh maybe we need to check that item number and see if I get something there but this is a two lane Tomei G plus set Indy tour set really cool everything is here everything it's the entire set two cars the lap timer still here all of the pieces are still here it's really really cool i think this is a really cool set now if you look at this body that <laughs> no that could be a super heat but that body is made for the Tomic chassis and the car that's actually in it is this body in the F1 uh, Marlboro kind of paint job and then here's the other car the Pennzoil number two they are Super G's um, as you can tell by the shoes there's I, if you run your fingers across them there's no grooves in these shoes whatsoever they both have the metal um, support piece in the rear um there they still have the the hollow tires which i do not like but still really cool set um so while we're on it let's see if we can um date this set now i was looking at artwork on um through the catalogs on slotcarcrazy.com and it's really hard to pinpoint a set um this this artwork here with this afx on the red background with the copyright written on the side look at this way they put afx on here this first appeared like this on sets in the mid 90s but if you look at the set pieces and everything else in their catalogs they used very multiple different years of um of uh, logos and all that stuff through all their artwork so you can never really pinpoint when a set came out this set isn't listed in any of the catalogs i looked at on slotcarcrazy.com and jim's we have catalogs on slotcarcrazy.com that jim has uploaded from 80 86 all the way through a 2018 catalog and this set isn't listed anywhere at all um, it is listed on um, the HO Museum, AFX HO Museum website, but it doesn't give you a year as to when it was released. So let's do a little research here, and we will go back to home. Let's go, let's see if we can look up. So if you punch that number in, it gives you all kinds of things from Tomei. So it really doesn't, it really, really does not help at all to figure out what graphics on these sets come from what years and whatnot. I do know if it lists Aurora AFX Tomei those are the late 80s to the early 90s set. If you go by the box art on this box, this logo here appears about 1994-95 catalogs. 
In the 96 catalog, most of them go to a white background with either black or red letters that says Team AFX on it. And then it, the more you get, they go. They went back to the colored um, AFX in some of the sets. As a matter of fact, the set I bought um, to start my track had that on it. So it's really, really hard to pinpoint years through catalogs because they used other year photos from catalog to catalog and it was kind of hard to figure it out let's go back here let's come back to the top let's get rid of this see if we get an answer this way an AFX slot car museum it lists it under the AFX sets, because you can see it right here, but it doesn't give you a year as to when it was released. It just shows you the set, the cars that were in the set, but it doesn't give you a year of release. Which is kind of, kind of hard to pinpoint. If we go, whoop, what do we got going here? Hold on, there we go. Just reload it again. Um, I didn't want Mega G. What the heck? Let's go, let's go home. Take a look at catalogs and see what he has listed for catalogs. We'll do some research here. Here we go. Now this is a Japanese catalog. We'll see what we get here. Where'd it go? Eh, it doesn't list it in here either. Give it a second here. Um, uh, just to give you guys some information while this is popping up, um, the third race from last weekend's uh, Tri-Cities get-together will be up later today. It will be the Driver's Challenge race. I'm sorry it's been taking me a while to get these uploaded. Had a lot going on this week with going back to work. And uh, had some issues with the computer and whatnot. So I hope you guys uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the race action so far. I just uploaded the uh, Frey race last night and up this morning. So uh, take a look at that, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. And then the, the last race there will also be up um, here soon. So if you guys can take a look here, you can tell how they used other art in their catalogs. This is the 97 catalog. This is also on SoccerCrazy.com, and if you look, they changed it to a white background with red lettering that says Team AFX. But if you scroll through it, it's there on that box, but if you look through here on the, the uh, Big Buck Blad Battlers, it used an older logo with an older picture on it. So it's kind of hard to tell what set is what. This has the part numbers on it, but it doesn't show this set. Let's see if we can get the the other set up um, but it's really cool for you guys to find it's really cool to find the older sets especially if you can find the older the older uh, G plus cars I, I opened the box up because I saw it on the ground and and I opened it up pulled it out to see if everything was in there just to make sure the cars and everything were in there and I picked them up and it there, I knew it, from the front, I knew, sorry, I can have a hard time talking, but I knew from the front it was a G Plus set, and I'm like, well, the car's there, so I opened it up to take a look. That's not what I wanted. Um, I opened it up to take a look, and I was surprised that the cars are there, Every, everything is there, though. All the pieces are here in this set. Dang it, that's not what I wanted.
see if that gets it. So it was really cool to find it. The lap timer's there. Um, you don't find this one that much in the older sets, the chicane piece. So it's still got that. It's got the chicane. Or it's got the chicane. It's got the squeeze track, and it's got the crossover. Everything is there. As you can see, it's a one of the wall sets. It's even got a loop. So it's a really neat set. Let's see if this finally comes up here. This should be the 95 catalog. Oh, 96 catalog, okay. So we're going to be, uh, hope, we might even do a review of this set. Oh, this is the same one we just looked at. There's no copyrights on this box anywhere either, so it's hard to date it. But I, I would have to say mid-90s if I'm guessing, but it, they could have used the same box art down the road and used the box art down the road as well because they, they, Aurora, Tomei was very much about doing that, about using the same boxes the following years even though they changed the graphics from year to year in the catalog. They still carried over some stuff, even if you look inside here with all the, the paperwork. Like I showed, it's got it's got this one on there. And then on this one, on the set when it talks about the G Plus cards, it's got the older emblem on it. So it's really hard to place the years. And none of these have copyright dates on them to tell you what year that the box was printed or any of that so it's just kind of hard to place but hope you guys enjoyed this little episode this little preview of the uh the g plus set that i picked up at the yard sale today by the way i got it for five bucks so complete set for five bucks you can't go wrong there with everything including the cars and all of that stuff um it's got the controllers and the wall pack and everything you need to build it so we might have to uh do a review of this set down the road and a review um, I'm going to try and, and research some more today to uh, try and date this set, trying to get it closer to a, a date that it might have actually been sold or purchased. So I'll keep working on that. Um, I hope you guys, I'm sorry that this wasn't a bi-weekly, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll be uh, doing some other things here soon. Um, the, like I said, the, the third race from last weekend's racing will be up later today as well. Um, next week, we're back on the 3x5 build working on starting to to work on the wiring um basically what we're going to do is uh, i'm going to first off show you guys a diagram of how your wiring or how the wiring on this set will work you can also take this and move it to your set it would it's going to vary on what timing system you use and other stuff but it, it, it'll be a basic wiring system so if you just want to set up a track without a timing system but you want to make driver stations and everything else this is going to be probably that way this that'll be the easiest way to wire your set so we'll be able to show you that and we're going to we'll be uh, probably attaching the wires to the track and um possibly working on some driver stations and uh, a couple other things so i hope you guys will enjoy that when it comes up and uh, just keep on racing slot cars keep the pin on the downside the wheel uh, keep the wheels on the downside the pin on the slot don't forget to check out slotcarcrazy.com a lot of great information there from that jim's doing a lot of great stuff books catalogs all kinds of cool stuff websites youtube channels you know all kinds of cool things groups on facebook the whole nine go check that out don't forget to, to uh, go check out the apparel at shop.spreadshirt.com backslash slot card dash crazy to get your slot car apparel and help support the channel in that way and uh just keep on racing and we'll talk to you guys next week with the uh three by five build and uh, keep on going, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye.